Hello everyone, this is Metho Kaiju, and today I'm back with another video this time for, I guess, just the MonsterVerse in general. And we have some pretty interesting news today. Uh, this came from the Godzilla vs. Kong concept art book, which releases May 21st, but many people have been fortunate enough to actually have theirs delivered extremely soon, including the person who sent all these brand new images, Daniel Kern. So thank you, Daniel Kern, for providing all these awesome images. And if you want to see all the concept art images, at least the most interesting ones, which include concept art of Doug, concept art of Mecha Godzilla, all that good stuff, then just check the annotation above. But in this video, we're going to be going over one piece of concept art that potentially teases the big bad of the MonsterVerse, or I guess just the next villain in the very next MonsterVerse movie, assuming it continues. So yeah, very big stuff here, so let's just dig right in. Here is the image right here. So of course, just like a typical cave painting, whatever, but... You do see some Kongs, and you do see some Godzillas, and unlike all those different concept arts of them fighting, right here, they're actually teaming up to fight this weird thing that's up in the sky, this blue flying kaiju. This thing has wings, very large wings, blue in color, kind of looks a little bit like Godzilla. You can actually even tell it has a little bit of some dorsal plates back here in its tail. Uh, it shoots some beam or like fire of sorts. So, yeah, this is this is really, really interesting. I mean, the Kongs, plural, and the Godzillas, plural, are teaming up against this thing. So clearly this is a common enemy and an extremely powerful one, actually. So, yeah, really, really interesting how there's even concept art of this in the first place. And if you analyze this even further, you can see that the Godzillas and Kongs, and even some humans, actually, they're basically up here, just in the grounds, because, uh, you know, there's more brown coloring for them. Almost as if they're Earth-based creatures. Makes sense. But look at this contrast between Kongs and the Godzillas and the humans, which of course are from Earth, versus this blue thing. This thing is not drawn like the Kongs and the Godzillas, where it's like a brownish color, but rather a blue color that also matches the blue environment the setting is in. And if you actually notice, this setting is literally outer space. I mean, you can even see a... Uh, I guess you can call that a stellar cluster or like a galaxy almost so yeah it, it's very weird it's almost implying like this blue flying thing is literally from outer space so i guess right here we're basically looking at godzilla and kong or at least their species teaming up against an alien threat some people might be thinking this is space godzilla honestly i've already heard a lot of people say that already and i mean it could be i guess uh, but I don't think so. I mean, it does look a bit Godzilla looking, but it has massive wings and there's no spike crystals whatsoever. So, yeah, I don't really think this is Space Godzilla, but a concept of Space Godzilla was Astro Godzilla. And Astro Godzilla does have wings. And Astro Godzilla also does look like Godzilla. So, this does look a lot like Astro Godzilla. So, could be some callback to that. I don't know. Astro Godzilla is just some super, super obscure monster. I mean, I think some G fans don't even know if it's very existence. So that'll be a little weird for Legendary to just be like, hey, give me the rights for Astro Godzilla. I mean, that's that's a little weird for them to be asking that. So, yeah, I don't actually think this is actually Astro Godzilla, but it definitely looks like it. So, yeah, this space entity, I mean, really, really weird. And speaking of Godzilla and some Godzilla variations, there's also some speculation that this was potentially teased in the novel, the Godzilla vs. Kong novelization itself so in the novel Gia speaks of a kaiju named quote Zo Zla Alawa a monster from Iwi mythology who quote unquote ate a star which quote made him evil and could quote throw rays of the star out of his mouth and burn things so obviously there's a lot of hyperbole here especially with the aspect of it eating a star which I think probably is trying to describe a kaiju essentially consuming tons of the hollow earth energy and one may think this is actually referring to godzilla i personally think it is i think most people do but you never know it could be describing something else a godzilla looking creature or a godzilla that just turned evil and just decided to go all rogue and just consume this hollow earth material almost like a luciferian type tale where the godzillas are actually all good but this one godzilla just kind of fell and you know fell into darkness or into the dark side i guess you can say i don't know uh, in addition this kaiju is described as shooting rays of the star out of his mouth rays of a star 
Well, Corona, right? That kind of sounds like a Corona. Corona beam. Just like Space Godzilla. Interesting. I don't know. That's a lot of stretching, I think. But, I mean, I honestly don't believe this. But I did hear some people chat about it. And honestly, I think it's kind of cool, actually. Like, that's actually kind of cool they thought of that. So, I mean, you never know, I suppose. But I personally don't think that's the case. But just tell me in the comments below. Do you think Zo Zla Alawa is referring to Godzilla? Or do you think it may be referring to something else? Some evil entity? Perhaps even this creature itself. This Godzilla-looking creature. Tell me in the comments below. And tell me in the comments below what are your thoughts on this creature just in general. I mean, this is clearly concept art from the actual movie. And shows a brand new creature we've never, never seen before. That's literally, as we can tell right here from the actual depiction of it, from space. So, this could be just a giant allusion to Space Godzilla. Does that mean it is actually Space Godzilla? No, I actually do not think this is it. But, there's definitely a lot of different hints to that. Possible even inspirations from it so yeah just tell me your thoughts in the comments below thank you so much for watching subscribe and comments this is methyl kaiju signing out